welcome back guardians i was not planning on doing another video this week life has been very busy however with tuesday's reset this week we finally got the hawkmoon random rolls mission the zero hour equivalent this video will go over precisely what you need to do i will kick off on a note though don't try this solo first time going with a fire team it is a 1270 activity and ads can hurt you a lot I went in solo and I died 3-4 to four times towards the end and it took me 30 minutes to clear the final boss room, so please do it with a team. Okay, so how do you start this? You start by going to the building in the EDZ where there is the fireplace in the Trostlum. You'll start by descending into a room with a gap on the right wall. Climb up through it, you will eventually hit a door that can be opened. Keep going until you get outside, there will be a hobgoblin waiting for you. Kill it and jump up to where it was, you will need to look down after this. Jump down to the branch, just like I've done in this footage. Then descend down to the dam. Follow the path until you reach the middle. It may seem that you can't climb it, but you can. Clamber to the top, then look to your left. You'll see a brown railing. Under it, there is a doorway. Pass through. That's it. You've completed the jumping puzzle. Well, the first one anyway. Moving on. So follow the path inside all the way down until you find a big room, which contains three bosses. You'll need to kill them one by one. I would suggest your fire team to set up with different burns, as there are a lot of shielded adds. Match game is active, therefore this modifier that forces you to destroy shields with a specific burn. Once you drop each boss's health by half, it will disappear. You will need to find where they are hiding. For the wizard, once it disappears, on the platform above there will be a vandal. Kill it and go through the doorway and finish off the wizard. Once you are done, move on to the centurion. Once its health is down by half, Towards the left of it, there will be a phalanx. Kill it and proceed forward to finish off the centurion. Finally, you will face a captain. Once its health is down, you will need to turn around and look for a door protected by a vandal towards the left. Kill it, then head up towards the captain. Once there, finish off the captain to conclude this encounter. Plasma, am I done? Where's my loot? Wait, you're only just getting started, believe it or not. Move out of the room where the captain was and drop all the way down. You will eventually come out to the same area where the bosses were originally. Follow your marker by getting out your ghost and kill a phalanx protecting the door. Keep going until you reach the reservoir area. You will face three waves of enemies in this encounter. The first wave will just be wizards and some thrall. Second wave will be Vandal Snipers and an unstoppable phalanx accompanied by some Centurions with Arc Shields and the third wave consists of Captains and multiple unstoppable phalanxes. Make sure one of your team has unstoppable rounds or be like me, use Athir's Embrace if you're a hunter. Clear the room and follow the directions on screen to reach the next jumping puzzle. There are multiple paths so I feel this was designed to maybe confuse people. If you are running a hunter, I'd say put on some stompies. <laughs> Hell, I needed them badly. Ads will be around, so watch out for those. There will be a lot of acolyte eyes, pop goblin snipers, wizards, the whole caboodle, basically. At the end, there will be the last unstoppable champion of the mission. Kill it, and you have reached the death trap. <clears throat> the final boss. Room. The final boss is a ultra knight. This knight is no joke. He has a ton of health and has three damage phases. Goblins continuously spawn and shield him so kill them on sight. Drop his health to two thirds and he will disappear. Acolytes will spawn with a knight on each side. Kill the knights or the acolytes will keep spawning. Once all the adds are dead, the boss will respawn. Continue doing this until it is dead. For guns, I would suggest Anarchy, Celestial Nighthawk, they do wonders on this encounter. Bring something void too as there will be a lot of shields. Upon completion, don't do what I did and not pick up the damn chest. If you're not like me, you will be given two random roll cult moons and its catalyst. If you get one with rangefinder, I hate you. <laughs> it's character based so it means you can get six rolls per week, which is more than enough. Let me know in the comments what you get. There are also paracausal feathers within this encounter. The first one is in the first encounter with the wizard. After killing the vandal and opening the door, there is a gate. You can open this gate by pressing a button on the wall. The second one is in the encounter with the centurion on a bridge-like structure. The third is near the room where the captain is. Go all the way to the top of the area and you will find it there. The other two are in the jumping puzzle. Very easy to spot. I don't have the footage as I already got them on my first run. I would share if not. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like if you see fit and see you in a future video. Have a good day, Guardians.